Hello, welcome to Kate's Egg. Today is super exciting because I'm going to be driving a baler for the first time ever. If you watched my 2021 harvest videos, you would have seen that we took the straw choppers off the combines and left straw rows behind them. So now I will be riding with and driving with the people we are having bale our straw. Today is super exciting because I have learned how to drive a baler and I'm here with Ivor with McGill Harvesting and he bales all of our straw that we left from combining. Yeah. And you bale straw all over the U.S. and Canada? We bale straw in Montana and Canada. Yeah, Alberta and Saskatchewan. That's amazing. And swathing and... And swathing and combining. Thank you so much for the opportunity. You are welcome. And I've never driven, so I don't know how to stop for... So just do that. Move it to the... Yeah, so I'll just, I'll just drive this. I got it wind right down, like we're doing 0 0.07 miles. So you just move that all the way down, idle it down, and put it in park. Okay. Yeah. And is there anything else? Not that I know of, Katie. It's pretty, it's up and down. Up and down, yep. Right? Forward. Forward. And then you want the tractor. In full, yep. Right? Right. And then speed. And then you just set your speed like that. Put your pickup down. Okay. Follow your marks. I'll leave it running right now. All you got to do, so you got, if you look here, your target speed. Yes. Right? So this tractor will actually do 0 0.04 mile an hour. Wow. That is crazy. Are you ready to take over the tractor? Yes. Okay. I believe so. Well, I'm going to get out. Okay. And you can finish this field by the time I get back. Thank you. All right. I'm very excited. Okay. You got it figured out. You're a farm girl. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Put the steering wheel down. Yeah. Whoa, this is so exciting. So I want to make sure the pressure that's happening. And I got to pick that up. So now I'm pick that up. Start my next row. Oh. Here's what it looks like from inside the baler. The sky and sunset is gorgeous. Here's the screens and what it looks like outside the back. I cannot believe I'm driving a baler right now after one pass, that is crazy, but I'm really enjoying it. This is so fun to drive. I have black arrows on my screen to show me if I need to move over a little bit and which way. And then I have two black lines that go up and down so that it bails equally. And my dad is taking Ivor in his pickup to go and show him the other fields we need bailed while I bail this one. This is amazing. I cannot believe I'm running a baler right now. It's just the coolest thing ever. It's crazy how steery this tractor is and how fast I'm going. I'm going 6.9 miles an hour. I've never driven that fast in any equipment in the field before. In combine, I dr I'm lucky if I can drive three miles an hour, which is super fast. And in drill, I only go 5.2 miles an hour and I'm going 6.9, wow. Ivor said we want to keep the bales at average around 1,100 pounds. This bale is 1,080 pounds that just came off. And I have a little screen here too, which is really awesome to show me that. This black knob here is for speed. So I pull that back at the end of my row to give me more time to turn around. I lift up the part in the back. Oh my goodness, the sunset's beautiful tonight. Oh. I need to probably go back and do this part here. It looks like I didn't have the baler down for the rest of this. There we go, I got that. Now I'm going to my next row over here and put this down and then speed up. Whoa! Make sure this is fully down.
everything's going good here. It's so fun to see the bales in the field also. Wow, this sunset is absolutely incredible. It's one of the most beautiful I've seen since harvest. We actually didn't have a lot of beautiful sunsets this harvest. This is so much fun to drive. I just saw what was happening. Yeah, it's good, you can go. So, you can do that sometimes. Okay, yeah. is there anything that I should do differently to prevent that? No, it just happens. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Sometimes it matters that you not properly and it breaks your twine. Oh, really? That's what happens? Yeah. Well, thank you. Good. Oh, okay, how do I do that? I've never run a tractor like this before. Oh, awesome. Thank you so much. Good, enjoy. Thank you. A bale broke, so that's really bad, and I didn't know what to do. I thought it was my fault, but I guess it wasn't. So I'm going to take it out of park, rev it up, make sure this is in the ground, and then increase speed. Oh, that's way fast. So my lights are now on, and I'm officially a baler. <laughs> trying to focus on this screen to drive in a straight row which I also combine this field so it's crazy to be back in it bailing the straw rows. In combine you drive all over the place because it doesn't make a huge amount of difference whereas when you come to pick up the straw rows the row you left behind it does make a difference so you have to keep doing turns if the combine driver wasn't driving in a straight line so this was probably me. It's really cool to see the operation come full circle though. Got that. There's part of the screen I want to keep black. We want three inch, not sure what the three inch stands for, I can't remember, but you want to keep it at three inch, not four inch. And also when I turn, I look to make sure all those little sticks with yellow on top, Ivor calls them lollipops because they look like lollipops are all up. I'm trying to find my next straw row here, which is right here. And then I lift this up back and I think this is my next, no, this is my next row. Oh, it's white and I need to do way more over here. Ivor's employees are from South Africa, which is very cool. Drop the baler down and speed up. Hopefully the bales are coming out how they should. Everything is looking good so far. I'm watching the straw row in front of me and I'm noticing if I just try and keep my tractor dead center down the middle of the straw row. I keep pretty good black lines here. And then I get to watch the bale come off the back. So that's really awesome. I've always seen them in the fields and wondered what it would be like to drive one or to be in one and see how it works. So this is very cool. My dad's actually never driven a baler either. So he's pretty excited that I get to drive one. Now I get to look at the bales that I bailed. Wow. They look pretty good. I must not be totally messing up. So once the baler fully comes through here, I'll lift up. This is an awesome experience. Oh. I think it plugged in the back again midway through the row, so there's a bit of straw left. Would you like me to go and pick that up? Oh, and you just push it out of the way. Yeah. That is incredible. Oh, and you just move back like there to back up down yeah. here. This is incredibly fun to run. Yeah, it is. So yeah, if you ever hear that ratcheting thing, yes. you just stop and idle the tractor right down. Okay. Yeah. And then once it stops ratcheting and the cold goes off the screen, you can idle. Okay, it should be good to go yeah. again. See, this is pretty heavy straw here along in this bottom, these bottoms where the we it was heavier. The straw is heavier, you got just kind of slow. This one's tied to this ball. That one's empty right now. Just picked up this one. That one's tied to this one. That one's tied to this one. And this one goes like this. That's a nail. Show you how to tie a knot, Kate. It's two knots you can do, right? Yep. Oh, that's not too challenging. But I'm going to show you something. See that tail of the twine is yep. going this way? That's wrong. Oh, okay. Right? So, 
so the tail of the twine has to go with the string. Okay. You don't do that when it changes the ball. It'll get stuck in the knotters. Ooh. Right? Okay. So this knot will be in a veil. You can see they're all going with the twine. Yes. Yeah. If you tie the knot the other way, the tail will go this way. So when the tails go that way, it'll catch and everything. And then you have to... Yeah, then you have to start re-threading the bale. Thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to run the baler. I really appreciate it. You're welcome, Kate. Anytime your job starts tomorrow full-time, okay? Thank you. All I'm right. excited. Make sure to like and subscribe to see more videos to learn about how your food gets to your table. Thank you so much for watching. Bye! Bye!